has been a dramatic past 36 hours across the British Isles following seven days ago it was in the 20s and feeling like summer uh, we have seen heavy snow across Scotland yesterday and uh, across England today England and Wales burn the brunt of the heavy snow gale force winds cutting part of some 50,000 people and uh, we've seen uh, several passes high level trans pennine uh, routes shut down because of snow blowing and drifting and uh, it certainly felt and looked more like January than it did early April. Are we surprised at the return of winter? Given uh, last week certainly we are but certainly in the law of statistics this is not overly unusual. It is unusual to, uh, to an extent but certainly not unheard of at this time of year here in the British Isles and uh, even across parts of Northern Ireland as well. But certainly we are seeing the uh, return of this colder weather. That will start to ease off over the course of tomorrow in particular. We have seen temperatures struggling to 2 or 3 degrees across parts of the Midlands. And as well as that across Wales as well. Even this morning as I drove down the M74 through South Lanarkshire into Dumfries and Galloway. The wind chill was incredible. Minus 9 to minus 10 was my the wind chill according to my phone. Certainly felt very, very biting indeed. The temperature was right around freezing, minus 1. But factor in a strong north to north easterly wind. And it certainly was one of the colder mornings that I've felt, even given la uh, the, the past winter we've seen. It certainly felt very cold indeed, and uh, very winter-like as well. Heavy snow in times, it was starting to lie on the road, and certainly it wasn't a great morning to be out and about. But certainly across parts of Yorkshire, through the Midlands, we've seen very heavy snow, Gale force winds, some 50,000 customers without power in parts of Yorkshire and, and, and areas surrounding that. And it, it's been a wild past 36 hours. Big time change compared to what we've seen last week. Things are changing though, folks. We're seeing high pressure, milder air over the, uh, the Atlantic, west of the British Isles. That's going to start to work its way in turning more settled and it's starting to modify that uh, cold air that's in place that arctic air that's in place by thursday you notice here the 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 the, the darker blues are starting to ease off that map the high pressure high pressure starting to build in off the atlantic winds will turn more northwesterly as opposed to northeasterly now northeast the uh, northwesterly flow given the normal circumstances would be a cold flow but because of the warmer air that we're seeing that ridge of high pressure that strong ridge should i say over the north atlantic very very uh, much a negative north atlantic oscillation that's when you've got high pressure over the north atlantic in greenland trough over the eastern part of north america and a trough over the western part of europe gives typically colder and snowier weather across the western part of Europe. This is what I thought would take place during the winter season. This uh, negative North Atlantic oscillation. That certainly did not happen. And therefore we're seeing a pretty mild winter overall. But over the course of the upcoming weekend. We're going to be seeing the modification. But folks it looks as if we're going to remain in a more unsettled pattern. Conditions will start to turn more settled. Especially across the Midlands and the south of England given what we've seen today and temperatures will start to warm up 13 or 14 celsius as possible over the weekend we're going to be seeing uh, systems weak systems weak frontal boundaries pushed in across the northern half of the uk bringing outbreaks of rain cloudy conditions breezy conditions and uh, that will be the case as we progress into next week folks notice something here the cooler air is remaining in place Where's that ridge of high pressure? It's gone and it looks as if over the upcoming week ahead, next week should I say, it looks as if it remains unsettled. Here's an, uh, another area of upper level low pressure that will bring rain, wind, cool, unsettled conditions across the British Isles. Tuesday, let's skip to Wednesday. Notice here, colder air trying to work its way back into the UK again. That's something to notice here. There is the signs here that April could be a more unsettled, cooler month. And yes, more in the way of rainfall. Something we need to say. I alluded, that, I alluded to that fact during my 
my summer forecast that was released back on Saturday there, that we need to see this rain. If we do see a wetter spring, then certainly what we've seen, of course, it was the third warmest uh, March on record for the British Isles. We've seen some 40% of normal rainfall across Scotland. 26% over Northern Ireland and 40% over England. It was a very dry March. But certainly if we do see more in the way of precipitation across the British Isles during the upcoming this month, then we could see uh, some uh, replenishment of those reservoirs that are running very, very low Thursday into Friday. But you notice here that the aspect of unsettled weather, uh, troughiness, low pressure, unsettled conditions, cooler you notice here the green showing up across ireland and the uk that tells me that we've got not necessarily a warm or cool pattern but unsettled weather rainy weather we want to see that rain of course over the central and southern parts of the british isles but certainly we've got a lot to look at here folks moderation in those temperatures gone will be the snow tonight clear skies lightning of those winds Expect widespread frost. Temperatures could, with if winds are low enough, uh, light enough, we could be looking at temperatures minus six to minus eight Celsius across rural areas. Stay warm, stay safe. Watch out for those icy roads tomorrow morning. Bye for now.